Thanks to Mint Mobile for partnering with today's video. So on this channel, I talk all the time about great budget alternatives to expensive gear. I'm trying to advise people, try not necessarily buy super expensive cameras, but to save money with cheaper ones like the Sony ZV-E10 is an incredibly popular choice. But let's talk about lenses. What is the kind of cheapest lens you can possibly find online? Well, I hopped on Amazon and I looked around and I eventually found a 35 millimeter f1.6 for $25. And it's this. It's teeny tiny. It takes up no space in your camera bag. Uh, and I think it is super cool. It's by a company called Photosy. Photosy? Photosy? I don't know. Whatever it's called. Um, it's actually all metal construction. It, it's a f1.6. 35 millimeter super 35 lens. Overall, it's actually a kind of nice feeling lens. It came in this small cardboard box. It had no lens caps, front or back, um, but overall, it's it's pretty decent. It has an aperture range of f1.6 to f16, and it's got a very small focus range. Now, the minimum focus distance is like half a meter, so it's definitely not any sort of macro lens by any stretch of the imagination. Now, I could do a bunch of sharpness tests and chromatic aberration tests, all that kind of stuff. This lens is not going to perform very well in any of those um, because, again, it's a $25 lens. But what we're going to do is we're going to stick it on our camera, which I think looks great. I think it's a really cool looking uh, little sort of camera rig. Uh, it's like this sort of old film feeling vintage look to a camera. Um, and we're going to take it down to our coffee shop, film making a little uh, flat white because I'm in the mood for some coffee and we may as well film it. So let's go check out to kind of see what kind of food that this can get. So again, this channel is all about trying to get the highest quality product for the lowest amount of money. And that's where our partner Mint Mobile comes in. Have you ever looked at your phone bill and thought, why on earth am I paying this much money? It's just extortionate. And whenever I first moved to America, that was one of the first things that I noticed is that the main companies that people push you towards charge astronomical rates. When the pandemic hit, we thought we have to save as much money as we can because who knows what's going to happen. And we switched over to Mint Mobile and we've been really impressed with the quality of the product that they provide for such a low price. You see, we assumed that we had to be paying the, the sort of premium companies to get access to good speeds, coverage, access to 5G, all that kind of stuff. But that's just not true. You see, Mint Mobile offers all of these features for as low as $15 per month. And it's owned by this guy. Hey there, it's Ryan Reynolds. And they're able to keep the costs low because they sell direct to you online. They cut out the retail stores and salespeople, all that kind of stuff. And it saved us hundreds upon hundreds of dollars over the last couple of years. And if you're like me, you're never going to regret spending a lot less money every single month, but still getting an incredible product at the end of the day. So check out the link on the screen or the one in the video description to get access to Mint Mobile's premium wireless plans for only $15 a month. And if you sign up for a plan of three months or more, you can get three months for free on Mint Mobile. Thank you to them for partnering with us for today's video. Now let's get back to talking about the lens. Okay, so I want to know what you think about the footage that I was able to get with this lens. I think it actually pro provides a really cool image. Is it the sharpest lens in the world? Nope. Is it free of chromatic aberration? No. Is contrast great? Not necessarily. Um, does it flare really badly? Yes, it does. Uh, it's not a perfect lens by any stretch of the imagination, but it does have character. Now, character is one of those funny words that we use uh, to throw around for vintage lenses. I think this lens has that look. The edge to edge sharpness is non-existent, right? Around the edges of the frame are completely blurry and kind of smudgy, but it gives a really kind of cool look. And for $25, I think it's really fun to be able to get a lens like this 
on a cheap camera and get some cool images. Sure, you could put a kit lens on here and it might just be kind of clinical and boring. And yeah, you'll get autofocus, you'll be able to control the aperture with the camera, but it's a little boring, right? You wanna go get something that's a little bit more interesting, a little more unique. It forces you to pull focus on your own. It's a prime lens, so you gotta zoom with your feet um, and you can control the aperture manually. So maybe you don't want the flares. Well, stop it down to F2, flares kind of go away and just use it to make much more creative footage. That's the point of these kind of lenses. And to get one for $25, I think is so fun. It also makes a fantastic gift. If you have a friend or a partner or a spouse or anything who has a Sony camera and you want to get them something cheap and cheerful that's kind of fun to use, a lens like this is great. Again, by no means is this perfect, but I think you can get some pretty cool images with it. And you can kind of dirty up the image or sort of maybe crop it into a four by three to give it a more vintage look. You could really add to the vibe that the lens itself provides and make a more creative image. So people online are obviously gonna tell you, you gotta spend $1,500 on the most expensive lens in the world. And trust me, you won't regret that. Expensive lenses are incredible and probably more important than expensive cameras. But you could also kind of have fun with something cheap and it's not wrong to do so. You could have a lot of fun with this sort of thing to create some sort of nice dreamy effect. But if you're looking for something that's clinical and sharp that you could film a documentary or a TV commercial with, this is not the lens. But overall, I thought it was pretty fun to be able to hop on Amazon and find a lens for $25 uh, and actually to be relatively impressed with the image that comes out of it, I'm pretty happy. Now again, if you're interested in purchasing this lens, let me be clear, again, it's not sharp, it's not high quality image. Um, it doesn't come with any lens caps, front or back. Um, the the focus and aperture rings feel pretty good, but I cannot talk to whether it is going to last a long time or not. But it's fun. And anything that brings you a little bit of joy with your camera or gives you that sort of vintage feeling and you're able to produce a cr more creative image with it, I think is always a good thing. But I wanna know your thoughts down below. Would you purchase a lens for 25 bucks just because, um, just to have it as a throw around thing that you could use for a bit of fun? Or is this not something you'd be interested in? So if you're interested in this lens, you can check it out on Amazon. It's it's come and gone frequently on Amazon even since I bought this lens. Sometimes it's available, sometimes it's not. Um, so if it's not available in the link, try again another time. You never know, it might pop up or look at some of the alternatives. But overall, I think it's a lot of fun. So if you're interested in this or in today's partner, Min Mobile, check out the link in the description down below. I appreciate all of you for doing that because it really helps out the channel. And if, you're, and if you're still watching, I really encourage you, hit the like button, drop a comment down below. It really helps with engagement, gets those videos out there. And if you'd be willing, even hit the subscribe button as we continue to build this channel. I appreciate all of you for doing so. And I hope that you have a wonderful day.